Welcome to the Z-Hot. Today, we are going to take a look at the LDR sensor module. And LDR stands for Light Dependent Resistor. So um, this is, it's an analog sensor. It's pretty easy to use. Um, it'll only take me a moment here to show you how to hook it up. And then what we'll do is we'll go over to the computer and we'll take a look at how we read this and how we can use this. So, um, well, a quick explanation of how it works is the resistance value changes depending on the amount of light. When we get over to the, the sketch we're going to be using, I'll show you how that works. So to hook it up, we've got three pins. You've got a negative, which is right here on this side, the ground pin. The middle pin, that's our positive, our power, and that goes to five volts. Then we have our signal pin, that's the one to the far side here, marked with the S. And you just simply hook it up. Now I'm hooking this. I've got it set up for the sensor pin to go to analog A0, analog pin 0. And uh, then I just got my ground and power set uh, to go to it. And then we'll plug it in. It's powered up. And now we are ready to use it. So let's just get over to the computer. And uh, I'll show you, you know, how the, the resistance changes depending on the light. So, all right, I'll catch you there in just a second. All right, I have the Arduino IDE opened up here. Um, so what we'll need to do is you go into the file, click on it, go down to Examples. Oops, go over to Basic. And then we want to do the Analog Read Serial. This is the sketch we're going to use to show you how this works. So how this sketch is set up, um, it's for getting an analog um, reading from a potentiometer. Instead of the potentiometer on pin A0, did, or analog pin 0, we are just putting the sensor pin from the LDR um, module to there. So other than that, uh, everything else can stay the same, except down here on delay, I don't want it to be running at warp speed. So I'm going to change it to a delay of 100 milliseconds instead of 1. And then we can leave our serial. 9600 is what I like to run. So what, what you have here, um, if you are new to Arduino, is we are um, we're just def defining up here to, you know, to begin our serial because um, we're going to be using the serial monitor here in a moment. And then in the void loop, we're just doing an integer called sensor value, and then we're doing an analog read of A0, analog pin 0. And then we're just doing a serial print of that. The, that's the sensor value that we just read. And then we're running a delay of 100 milliseconds. So now what we can do is open up the serial monitor and uh, take a look at the values that we're getting from our analog read of the LDR sensor module. So I'll click on the serial monitor there, and we got it up. Now, right now, I have it on the desk. I'm going to move it. Now it's directly, pretty much directly underneath my light on the, the table, the workbench table. And we're getting a reading of... About 88, 89. Now I put my hand over it. Now I am completely covering it. There's a, maybe a teeny tiny bit of light getting in there. And the value has gone up to 650 roughly. <clears throat> so what we have here is the brighter it is, the lower the number. The darker it is, the higher the number. Now depending on the LDR that you're using, the module, there might be some differences. The numbers, you know, could be a little different. Just check it out before whatever project you're going to use it in, you know, to get the idea of your range. Um, but the range can go anywhere from zero. The highest number it could possibly be would be 1,023. All right, uh, that is all there is to using uh, an LDR. Um, you just have to configure, you know, whatever kind of, 
the reading of the light, how you want to use it in your project, and that part of it is up to you. So I would like to thank you for joining us at the Z Hut uh, today. If you found this information useful, please give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it very much. So with that, um, I hope you have a great day, and remember, have fun building.